Principles of Sports Nutrition. Endocrine glands, a complex and highly specialized network of ductless glands, the endocrine system functions to manufacture and release substances known as hormones. When I think of the human endocrine system, I think of the glands that release the hormones, the pituitary, the, the pineal gland, the thyroid, the parathyroid glands, the adrenals, the testicles, the ovaries. These are specialized glands and they're associated with youth and anti-aging and there are many people that believe that they're the key to youth, preserving and protecting them. The human endocrine system consists of more than a dozen specialized tissues and glands, producing close to 100 distinct hormones and related substances. Hormones are very powerful substances. That's why many athletes take them. They can exert a very dramatic effect on the cell. And the effects and outcome, because they're so reliable and because they're so well known among athletes, this is what in part leads to their continuous use. The endocrine system works with the nervous and immune systems to regulate activities within the body and to preserve its homeostasis or balance. Hormones regulate the chemical composition and volume of our internal terrain, affect metabolism and energy balance, and play a huge role in the rate of protein synthesis and human reproduction. Hormones vary in their chemical influence and elemental structure. Thus, they are divided into four separate groups, including peptides and proteins, steroids, biogenic amines, and eicosanoid. So basically, there are four different types of hormones, and they're classified according to the influence they have in the body and also their structure and chemistry. The endocrine system is intimately involved with adaptive responses to stress, sexual interest and performance, muscle tone and fat burning, menstruation, healing, emotional and mental function, and in concert with the nervous and immune system permits the orderly progression of life. I think a very good read is Dr. Colgan's Hormonal Health and also the Perimenopause Solution and his chapter on bioidentical hormones. We've got to know what form of what hormone is best to take. To some degree we're living in a new era and with that new era comes new technology. We're looking at gene therapy and gene doping. We can now biosynthesize just about anything. So we've really got to be cautious. You know, too much too soon is usually going to get you into trouble. I was tempted to take steroids as a youngster. I'm glad I never crossed the line. There are many, many young people today that are being tempted, and we've got to provide them with alternatives, alternatives that are both safe and effective and that are compatible with their biological uniqueness and their individual biochemical strengths and weaknesses.